Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst. Look at that. Wow, is that an incredible fish? And the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. With Pat McSherry. All right, what a fish. Andy Bioka. Wow. Look at the colors on this fish. And Mike Anselmo. Man, he's bumping. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to what is our first episode of 2017. And from all of us here at In-Depth Outdoors, we hope you had a fantastic holiday season and you're ready to get out there on the ice and chase around some fish. I know we are. Uh, so on today's show, I'll be fishing with Mike Anselmo, and we head to one of the very best or most popular walleye fisheries in the upper Midwest. It's Upper Red Lake in north central Minnesota, and what makes this lake so popular is the average walleye guy can come to this lake and catch a lot of fish. Now, this body of water has the tendency to produce huge numbers of fish, and they have an absolutely unique, aggressive nature that you just don't see on a lot of bodies of water. So that's what brings people here to Upper Red Lake from all over. Uh, today we're gonna be accessing the lake out of JR's Corner. And what we're excited about in particular in this episode is, because of the late start to the ice formation this year, we're actually gonna be one of the very first groups that can get out on Center Bar, one of the more popular and significant pieces of structure on Upper Red Lake. And that's typically a great recipe for getting in on a phenomenal bite early ice because when those fish are unpressured on Upper Red Lake, you're usually in for a tremendous day of fishing. So Mike and Selmo and I on Upper Red Lake today on In-Depth Outdoors. Well, here it comes. Got him. <laughs> Mike, if walleyes were this crazy everywhere, nobody would fish anything but. <laughs> I don't dog. think he's a giant. I got another one down there. I mean, that's one of the wonderful things about red. Yep, here he comes. Oh, Christmas walleye. That one's coming home with me. Here on Upper Red, you're gonna catch a lot of fish and you can take a few home with you. So I think it's three under 17 this year. And that one is a perfect eater in my book. So that one's gonna come home with us. That was a good start. Just punched this hole a couple minutes ago, had one fish come in, fire up, hit the bait and I missed it. Second guy, not so lucky. So what I'm fishing, number seven, slab wrap in UV green. Now out here on Upper Red, anybody ever tells you you have to be fishing one particular bait to catch fish, probably not steering you straight. The reason I chose this particular bait is it's an aggressive bait. It allows me to fish quick. I'm not gonna mess with live bait today, not for these fish. Uh, when you see them come in on your, uh, your fish finders, uh, these fish are absolutely heck bent on crushing whatever bait is down there. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised today if we could catch uh, fish on slab wraps, rip and wrap spoons. If you wanted to, you could drop down a, a minnow under a bobber, but I prefer to stay aggressive. Back in the water, I just had one flash in and out of my transducer cone. We're fishing in 12 foot of water, which means, you know, that transducer cone isn't covering that much of the bottom. So when I see a fish here on upper red come in underneath and I can see him that clearly on my uh, uh, LX9, I know he's right under the hole. Let's see if I can get him to come back. There he is. I got him that time. I got this one pinned. Stuck him, huh? Little eye. You gotta start somewhere, Mike. <laughs> he gets a ton of credit though. He uh, he got the whole thing in his mouth. I'm all for keeping a couple fish, but I think that one uh, gets a free pass. Boom! We're gonna do this quick. I got another one there. Here we go. Nice eater. I've got two, maybe three fish here. I'm gonna keep that fish, see if I can't fire down and get that other one. Oh, take your time. Don't <laughs> you don't you want to. Get, you don't need uh, to get too, too in front of me on the lead uh, fish count here. You know, one of the things that really makes Red Lake attractive to anglers is the fish are so aggressive here. Now you can see how quickly I wanted to get back down for that buddy of his. 
these fish aren't very picky. Now you'll catch a, a run once in a while on a cold front where you have to slow down, but this is definitely a lake that rewards anglers that fish aggressively. So where we're fishing today is uh, we're out on center bar. Now in case you're thinking uh, I'm giving out some uh, closely guarded secret, in about a week and a half there's going to be 500 wheelhouses out here. This is not uh, uncharted territory. So what we've got going in our favor is we just got here before everybody else. The lithium laser and lithium chipper from StrikeMaster deliver power on demand with the push of a button and an industry leading 50 volt lithium ion battery. Reach for the lithium laser if you need unmatched hole punching speed or opt for the lithium chipper if you need the durability of chipper blades for opening old holes or drilling in dirty ice. No matter which auger is right for the way you fish, reach for a StrikeMaster lithium. The electric auger with power to spare. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. This winter, set a trap for your next trophy with iFish Pro. Ideal for all species, iFish Pro is an innovative fishing system that allows an angler to use their favorite rod and reel instead of trying to manage the fish hand over hand. Oh, right Complete your ice fishing arsenal with iFish Pro, tactical ice gear that puts the fight back into tip up fishing. Look at that. Find iFish Pro online at iFishPro.com or at your favorite sporting goods retailer. There he is. A little bigger than that last one. <laughs> Looks a little better. He wanted it. He jumped out of the hole at me. That one is a perfect size Red Lake walleye. Fish fry guy. For the frying pan. And I think, uh, I think I'm just going to bring home two of them today. That's all Rachel and I are going to eat. So. I know I can have three, but I don't need to be greedy. There's one. Got him. With authority, Mr. Mike. With authority. Nice fish here, Mike. There you go. You know what? There's a certain, uh, oh, how do you want to put it? Attractiveness to just catching a whole bunch of walleyes in a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it all goes back to being a little kid and just wanting to set the hook nonstop. Well, I got to do that today, that's for sure. No fussing around when you get to fish baits like that. That guy's lucky he got caught when he did. At the start of the day, he'd be going home with me, but as it is, he gets to uh, swim away. See you later, friend. Send, send buddies. That's that uh, glow yellow perch again. I'm gonna be honest with you, it probably doesn't matter a whole lot on color. Probably not gonna wanna choose a real drab pattern because of the water clarity here on upper red. And uh, the last thing I'm gonna tell you is you have to fish a slab wrap or you have to fish a rip and wrap to catch fish on upper red lick. That's not the case. There's a lot of baits that are gonna work under these conditions. But uh, I love fishing that, type, that style of bait. It's aggressive, no messing around. Fish come firing in and just close the distance and pound on it. Fish. You know what they're, what's going on here, Mike? They're all in the shadow of the sled. <laughs> A little better fish here, I'm gonna guess. Oh yeah. That a boy. Oh yeah. Nice one. I'll take it. I'll take it. I think that that one's bigger than the last four of mine combined. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I got another really good one. If you want to come over and drop right in this hole, Mike, while I get this one loose. I'm, I'm if not they, above that. You're not above that? No, that's just good smarts right there. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful fish. We'll let that one go. That's definitely my biggest fish of the day. All right. See you later. There goes. There goes one. If that doesn't stir things up down there, nothing will. In-depth outdoors, spot on the spot ID. So in today's spot on the spot, we're gonna take a real good look at Upper Red Lake and uh, kind of share a strategy that has always worked for us to get on fish and stay on fish throughout the course of a day. Now, when you talk to anglers, very often they'll reference Upper Red Lake as featureless. There's just not a lot of structure out there. But really, that's just not true. What an angler has to accept is uh, the scale, uh, the amount of change that you'll see in the bottom uh, isn't that great, but trust me, those small changes on Upper Red Lake are still very significant to the fish. A two or three foot change in the bottom will concentrate fish where another body of lake, you might be looking for a 15 or 20 foot depth change. So change your scale and all of a sudden Upper Red Lake becomes a very cool body of water to fish. So as we mentioned, we're on center bar today. That's out in the center of the lake. You'll notice that this Garmin map has a portion of the lake unmapped, and that's actually reservation land, so definitely stay on this side. Uh, Upper Red Lake does have quite a bit of structure. Uh, when we fish this body of water, most everyone was still on the shoreline breaks, and because we had the Polaris snowmobiles, we were able to cover a couple of cracks and get out to center bar, which is just a notoriously productive piece of structure. So how do we approach center bar. What's important to remember is the fish, even though they're not going to make huge depth changes throughout the day, they will make a push early in the day and late in the day to feed up shallow on the structure, and then midday they definitely make a noticeable move off to the sides. So we fished the east side of center bar. Uh, during the middle portion of the day, we were actually out in 13, 14 foot of water. About 3 p.m., we moved up to the top of center bar where we got in on a fantastic bite. So if there's one suggestion I can make to anybody fishing Upper Red Lake, whether you're fishing shoreline structure or mid-lake structure like center bar, you're gonna have to make at least one move throughout the course of most days to stay on fish throughout the entire day. Stay shallow all day long and you're gonna catch fish early and late. Make that one move midday once that early bite tapers off and you're gonna be on fish from start to finish. Markham's new pocket-sized handheld underwater cameras, the Recon 5 and 5 Plus, use a 5-inch color display to deliver superior screen detail and employ a combination of dark water LED and infrared lighting to punch through the darkness. The Recon 5 Plus adds a built-in DVR and on-screen display for critical information, previously only available on full-sized underwater viewing systems. This winter, see what you've been missing with a Recon from Markham Technologies, the undisputed leader in underwater cameras. Everything you'd expect from a premium quality fish house and so much more. Glacier combines superior craftsmanship and premium quality materials to produce a comfortable and enjoyable mobile base camp for your next outdoor adventure. Available in a variety of models, a Glacier Ice House offers more standard features, more usable space, and a better fit and finish than the competition. Visit our website at GlacierIceHouse.com to find a dealer near you and see why a Glacier Fish House is the ultimate way to play. At Aluma, we're in it for the long haul. That's why we make the longest lasting, most rugged trailers on the road. Flatbeds, bike haulers, tilt trailers, and enclosed. If you have a lot to move, we've got your way to move it. Our lightweight aluminum trailers will handle even your heaviest loads. At Aluma, we are right behind you with an industry-leading five-year warranty. Because every trip and every load is valued. This winter, set a trap for your next trophy with iFish Pro. Ideal for all species, iFish Pro is an innovative fishing system that allows an angler to use their favorite rod and reel instead of trying to manage the fish hand over hand. Oh, nice right there. Complete your ice fishing arsenal with iFish Pro, tactical ice gear that puts the fight back into tip up fishing. Look at that. Find oh, iFish Pro you. online at iFishPro.com or at your favorite sporting goods retailer. There he is. I think he might have come back and given me another look. You dog. With a whole back hook in his mouth. It's gonna make me get my pliers a little. Silly guy. 
He was going nowhere. All right. Fish is loose. It's one of my smaller fish in a while. <laughs> That's it. I'm, I'm was, switching. Was that too much of a jab? It, you're kind of putting it on me. You did just fine with that uh, rip and wrap for a while. I know. I just, I gotta, I can't let you get back out in front of me though. Very competitive. You know, oh, there he is. Might be something to do that slab wrap, eh? I didn't even mark the fish. He just came in and smoked it. Thumbs up, Mike. I was having a really good time with that rip and wrap most of the day. Yeah. But it took uh, about five or six hook sets of yours uh, to make me go ahead and make that switch. That bait was not in the water for 10 seconds. You never know what they're going to want. I, no, you don't. I just uh, missed one over here. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just getting silly. Come here, you. A little bit nicer fish. They're coming in by twos right now. Not a bad fish. Bloop. If ever anyone wanted to really get some confidence fishing these profile baits, these uh, you know mineral profile baits, this is the place to do it. First three, four weeks of the season. There he is. <laughs> I didn't want to jinx myself and say anything, but there was like three of them down there. Really? Isn't it weird how they'd go from a rip and wrap in the exact same color to a slab wrap? You couldn't catch them at all on the rip and wrap. Maybe the rattle was just too much. Yeah, it was. Uh, you, it was almost mandatory there for a while. This, you know, this morning, mm -hmm. and now you know it's just something slightly more subtle in terms of sound. But I mean, you know, it's a, it is a different action on this bait. It's more of a swim away and circle kind of bait. Right. This lake is full, full of those fish. And I want to catch about 10 more. Then we can go home. Fair enough. <laughs> Here comes another one. Here he comes. Boom. <laughs> Unbelievable. They're not very big. But I don't care. <laughs> Just keep feeding it to them. They'll keep eating it. Like I said, I hadn't been on the ice since last year. And when you asked, I had a, a little bit of a ask to kind of go through with the wife at home. For the, those that aren't aware, Mike just added, uh, Mike's family just added a, a baby girl. Yes, a brand new family. baby girl to the family to go along with a very rambunctious three-year-old that loves to watch the IDO guys catch fish on TV. And he's just old enough to kind of to kind of know what he's looking at in terms of fish and stuff. So I guess you could say I've had a lot of good things happen just in the last week. And these walleyes you know what? are just icing on the cake. Your wife did all the work. I should have invited her. You didn't need any time <laughs> off. A little bit better fish. Completely engulfed that bait. Mike, you're going to have to walk that players back over here. He at that all of it. You're Thank up. you. Boof. Calling Dr. Holst. All right. Back he goes. This has been a nonstop parade of walleyes. We had that little bit of slower period right in the midday under that bright sun, which a guy would expect. We're into the afternoon time period. We got some clouds rolling in and it's just fish after fish now. Good start. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can begin to see pretty quick why people like fishing up here. If you can't have fun doing this, then I'm not sure we need to be friends. Take up golf. They're solid fish. This is not where you go to catch a 28-inch walleye. This is where you go to catch 28 nice walleyes. This is where you go. Um, you said it. I mean, talk about getting comfortable and developing new confidence baits. I had... Uh, spent zero time with the slab wrap until we got here and man you're gonna have a tough time getting that thing out of my hands now well just about any perchy color is gonna work but you're fishing kind of a chrome red that pink clown yeah that's just a good solid red upper red lake color yeah i can't keep my bait down there they're just i'm swarming it got him 
Tell me everything about it, Mike. There he is. <laughs> it's a double. <laughs> Yep. If you tell somebody you caught your limit on uh, upper red, that's just not saying very much. Yeah. That's... That could be like five minutes of good fishing. Like Chili Willy style walleyes. <laughs> I remember that cartoon from as a kid. That was good stuff. All right. The gloves are coming off. Markham Technologies unleashes GPS with the release of the RT9, the first to combine sonar, underwater camera, and Navionics mapping in a 9-inch ruggedized touchscreen tablet. Built on the Android operating system, the Wi-Fi-enabled RT9 can be used as a standalone tablet or snap into the cradle or performance pack for unmatched portability. Ice electronics the way they were meant to be. Sonar, GPS, underwater camera, one unit. Experience the RT9 from Markham Technologies. Markham's new pocket-sized handheld underwater cameras, the Recon 5 and 5 Plus, use a 5-inch color display to deliver superior screen detail and employ a combination of dark water LED and infrared lighting to punch through the darkness. The Recon 5 Plus adds a built-in DVR and on-screen display for critical information, previously only available on full-sized underwater viewing systems. This winter, see what you've been missing with a Recon from Markham Technologies, the undisputed leader in underwater cameras. That fish was crazy. <laughs> Look at this. Here comes one. That fish come up so hard and fast, and then he passed on it the first time. There he is. Second time, not so much. That's a nice fish. That one's getting their upper teens. Mike's got one, I've got one, everybody's got one. The way I've got this uh, rod rigged up today, uh, it's a Commander, tuned up custom Commander. I've got the braid on there, it's nice and warm out today, so it gives you really good hook sets. 10 pound test braid, 832. And um, my fluorocarbon leader today is 15 pound. Um, I got bit off by a pike, and what I'm coming to realize is that works pretty good as a handle just to pull these fish right out, so the fish don't care. Uh, water clarity is so stained here that 15 pound leader, 12 pound leader, it doesn't matter, and I know I'm not going to break off these baits. And should another pike come back through, I'm not going to donate another bait, or at least I hope I won't. That was pretty cool. Got him. <laughs> Just nuts. Perfect. Back down we go. <laughs> they don't give you a lot of time, I'm telling you. Uh, once you kind of get the, the cadence of this down, uh, keeping that bait about a foot and a half off the bottom, and as soon as that fish comes in the screen, you gotta be going up the water column, and they will hunt it down. Pretty cool deal. See if we get a couple more. Here he comes. There he is. She. Green UV, baby. Oh, so many fish today. There's a nicer one. We've had ourselves a fish filled day, all sizes. You know, Upper Red Lake, you'll see some people get some fish in the mid 20s once in a while but anytime you hit that 20 inch mark here on upper red that's a pretty solid fish obviously numbers are not an issue here one of my better fish here in the last 15 minutes or so which usually isn't saying much but up here on upper red you can rip through a bunch of fish pretty quick 
I think, Mike, you had a uh, stretch there where you had about seven fish in five minutes. James, I think there's, well, I was going <laughs> to say, I think there's like three of them down there. I couldn't tell which one was actually coming from my bait. I, uh, I think I officially have this slab wrap broke in for you. It's called custom. <laughs> hey, this has been an absolute blast. Um, what an excellent destination to just come and knock the absolute dust off your walleye tackle and putting the hurt on, uh, on some of these fish. I think this is a situation where, uh, you know, throw confidence baits and learning new stuff out the window. If you're just looking to stretch your string, and uh, come out on safe, uh, measurable ice. I mean, guys are driving wheelhouses out here now. Um, you know, JR's Corner has uh, got the road out here to what, a couple miles? Mm -hmm. I mean, come one, come all. This is as good as it gets. This bite uh, is gonna continue to be good for what, the next three, four weeks? Yeah, they catch walleyes all winter long, but there's always that peak bite first three or four weeks. That was just a, I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. UV green. <laughs> Mike, we can keep fishing, but I can promise you we've caught more walleyes they can make it into a TV show. <laughs> so I think we should just uh, close this thing out. You all right with that? I am just fine with that. For everybody that came out fishing with us today there at home, we want to thank you for doing so. We had a ton of fun today. And uh, a couple of things that we shared here today, you know, we're not Upper Red Lake experts by any means. We fish here once every couple of years, but we do have a pretty good pattern here that we shared. Definitely give it a try the next time you get out here on Upper Red. And uh, of course, if there's ever an interest uh, from anybody there at home in learning how to fish these, these minnow profile baits, this is the place to do it. You can barely keep these fish off at times uh, when they come in in schools, case in point. So, Thanks for tuning in today for Mike Anselmo and I. We'll see you next week. I think my arms are about to fall off from catching walleyes. <laughs> Bass guy. <laughs>